In case you're all wondering where the Nomad Highland door is, it's right here. You have to enter a cave from the bottom, you go into the mountain, it's right in here. Note to self, bring more sweets. This is gonna be tough, especially with a glider this fast. Hit right there, hit through there, hit through there, hit through there. Oh baby, that was uh that was beautiful. Now I get to collect all my stuff. And you know what? If you bring bombs, you could probably just blast your way there. Ooh, this is the only place you cannot dig. Alright, this is gonna be difficult. We can do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why is this place like this? Why is this place like this? Okay, this is gonna be a long one, so bear with me. But this is the last hall that you can go ahead and do at level 25. We're going to go ahead and try this out. Okay, these places are pretty general. You're going to get a bunch of catacombs, different puzzles, flying, grappling, tough bosses, tough enemies it's gonna be a lot in this place so just stay tuned and we'll get to it and there's gonna be swarms of skeletons as well oh so this is trash okay it looks like we gotta kill all these guys right here so what i usually do just to solo these guys is i get somewhere probably like right here Try not to get hit by those guys with the sights. Alright, and then we just pick a target and go to town. You might want to bring some potions with you. Or mana. I found that this is easily handled. Alright, we'll just gotta make sure these guys are charged. There's a big charge here that we're gonna try to get Alright, and then you got all these guys that come out of nowhere. We want to loot these corpses because these corpses are going to offer us a lot of resources that we're going to need. Especially with the other two dungeons, you're going to need a lot of bones, you're going to need a lot of other materials. And they drop some of these uh, skull summoning vessels and necromancer summoning vessels as much mana as you got. You could drop all of them and you can have a very easy fight especially for the Ravenhold. All right, this is what I mean like the deeper you go you're gonna want to pay attention to what's out there on the walls because sometimes there's chests that you can go ahead and jump or ledges to jump to as well and secret doors that you can find inside these places so just keep that in mind if you jump all the way to the bottom you're gonna lose the opportunity to actually get up to where those places are and potentially lose out on some good loot. Okay, you're gonna run into these doors a lot and it just shows you how many objectives are in here. So there's five that I need to go ahead and do in order to open these. It could be five different mobs. It could be five different seals. It could be five different switches. It could be clearing out the entire room. So it really depends on how you open these doors. Okay, it looks like we have five different targets. So, um, let's go up here.
Okay, looks like he opened the barrier, but he's gonna kill this dude. Okay, looks like we opened the barrier, but we're gonna kill this dude. Oh, that's done, let's go this way. The shroud isn't present in the other ones, just this one. Okay, this reminds me of that level in Elden Ring. Yeah, let's you're wondering, I'm still using that level 35, 62 power crowd weaver. You guys got all your points plugged in somewhere else you're gonna need a lot of stamina so I put a build out there for people to go ahead and take a look at for this build it'll help you guys out Yourself, bring more sweets. This is gonna be tough, especially with a glider this fast. You're gonna have to hit right there, hit through there, hit through there, hit through there. Oh, baby, that was, uh, that was beautiful. Now I get to collect all my stuff. And you know what? If you bring bombs, you could probably just blast your way there. Ooh, this is the only place you cannot dig. Alright, this is gonna be difficult. We can do this. like this. Why is this place like this? Oh my god. Whoa. That was freaking annoying. We made it. 
I feel sorry for people that like have to stop every now and then. Anyway, these guys are back. These guys go to town. All I gotta do is watch them. Like it's it. All right. Level 25, 47 damage. That was it. That's all. Okay. From that run, we have accumulated some stuff. We've got a spine chill. We've got a. Valrith Axe, a couple of Cyclops Trophies, we got a Fell Sickle Scythe Head, we got a Silver Shot Bow, we've got a Great Mace, we've got a number of these Greater Skull Summoning Vessels, which are really good. You can craft them from the, uh, I forgot his name, Alden. Right here in Summoning, you can go ahead and choose the other variants if you want. And the key that you will need in order to go ahead and accomplish all that is the Kindle Waste Bone Key. And that's currently all the content in this patch for right now. I think it was fun. I think it was challenging. But, you know, that that hallway, man, that hallway is going to really hurt some feelings, especially if people are trying to fly down there and get what they need going. Um, I was lucky to land on the ledge and actually get all my stuff. But if you enjoyed that, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and we will see you all in the next one. Thank you.